meron akong fun facts dito. At later, I'll upload some pictures so you can kita, pwede kayo makita yung mga uh, things sa NASA. It's really interesting. Spaceships. At they had things like rockets that go into the sky and pieces of the rocket break off and those um, pieces they had one big one there which is cool but I didn't get a picture of it anyways just saying things I see yes I'm enjoying it okay well it's about five minutes into the show um, <clears throat> well, okay, guys, this is episode 36 of Talks with Dre. Um, it's currently 2 p.m. Jensa Filipinas on a nice Friday evening or afternoon. So, again, thank you everyone for joining, uh, for spending an hour of your time uh, at the end of your week. As the weekend comes forth, I hope and pray that this will be a blessing in your life and it will kick off kickstart you off into the weekend with some good positive vibes. So I'm excited for the episode nito dahil meron kong special guest. Alam nyo naman, siya ang gandang grabeng galing. Siya magkanta and nagbigay si God ng gift sa kanya. At he puts it into action. So a good friend of mine, his name is Gab, and he will be singing some uh, worship songs for us coming up soon. But until then, I just want to say hello to everybody. Thank you for joining at Dito uh, Nako sa Houston, Texas. Kaya meron ako din mga fun facts and uh, things I'd like to share with you guys. As well as later we can go into some scripture. And uh, also just kwento kwento han tayo. You know, positive vibes, good vibes. And uh, if you guys don't mind, I will open us up in prayer. Start us off in prayer. Uh, Heavenly Father, one second. Heavenly Father, God in heaven, I thank you, Lord, for this time, Lord, that you had set in place, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for for this platform, God. I ask for your blessing on this platform, on this episode, that in this episode, Lord, you can speak to the people. Use your servants, Lord, to share your word, God. Speak to our hearts. Put life revelations in our mind, body, soul, and our hearts. And whatever we learn today here god let us not only know that it's from you god but let us seal it in our hearts and not only just be hearers of your word but doers of your word god this we thank you for your love your grace in this time that you have set in place for we know nothing is an accident nor coincidence you are in control god so guide us protect our minds guide our tongues and our bodies this we pray we thank you lord in jesus name Amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. It's actually a song called Amen. You should check it out. <clears throat> well, we're at one oh seven. How are you guys there? So do you live in Texas? Yes, I'm currently in Texas, dito sa hotel room. And I've been live, trying to live wherever I go. So perhaps it's in Arizona. Was it Arizona? I don't know. But Los Angeles, Miami. Um, the past few, week, past few weeks have been uh, full of a lot of blessings in my life and I was blessed with the opportunity to go to different states here in America so I'm like a tourist here as well uh, that speaks English so <laughs> but um, yeah I get to do my lives in each of these states and have fun and seeing different cultures like my, in America right it's pretty cool Hello Leng, it's your birthday tomorrow. Happy upcoming birthday. Sana, it's an amazing, great day with friends and family. Enjoy. Okay, well, before I invite my special guest, let me share some 
fun facts that we have here in Texas. So I actually didn't know that uh, NASA, which you know flies rockets into space, has all research on Mars and different stars and rocks and orbits and all those things. Uh, I think the biggest, it's the biggest, uh, I think NASA originates in Texas. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's big here. I, I know NASA is the biggest um, or most popular thing here. Anyways, so it's not only, it's not, the, uh, sorry, it's, it is the only place in the world where visitors can see astronauts train for missions, touch a real moon rock, land a shuttle, and take a behind-the-scenes tour of NASA. So it was established as a spacecraft center in 1961. I did not know that. Cool. So yeah, I seen like the moon rocks they have there earlier, um, and a lot of the behind-the-scenes things of how it works. It's really very interesting. Um, and consists of a complex of 100 buildings constructed on 1,620 acres in the Clear Lake area of Houston, which acquired the official nickname Space City in 1967. Okay. Yeah, Houston's famous for NASA Pala. I didn't even know that. So when me and my team got here to Houston, they were like, we're going to go to NASA. And this is the f didn't even is the most random thing that came to my mind, NASA. But uh, it originates also with Houston. We have a problem. Have you ever heard of that? So it's connected with that pala. I didn't even know that. So this was where the mission control was, where Neil Armstrong, the first man who walked on the moon in 1969, was report where he reported, Eagle has landed. Okay. And what does NASA stand for? It's the last fun fact I'm going to share with you guys. The National Aeronautics, Aeronautics and Space Administration. Okay, so it's a fun fact for you guys and a fun fact for me as well. We're both learning. <laughs> I could have delivered those fun facts better, but uh, it's also new for me. Anyways, aside from fun facts. What time is it here? It's 1.11 a.m. But hindi ako antok. My sleep schedule is... I've got to the point where I can go two days without sleeping. Then like, still do things. Function. <laughs> you have insomnia? Mmm... I don't want to say I do, but uh, you know how you lay in bed and you just like toss and turn in deep thoughts. It's like, uh, and then the worst part is when you're actually tired, but when you're laying in bed, you just can't sleep. It's like mind, body, what the heck's going on? And then I get to the point sometimes where you're like, you know what? Fine. Talk to my own brain. If you don't want to sleep, laban tayo bukas. O sige. Then push through the whole day, the next day, then pag gabi nang susunod araw, ang pagod na antok yun na ako, bilisan ito. Anyways, without further ado, I'd like to invite my special guest, Gab! Gab, if you're here, please drop a request, and I'm uh, happy to have you join on the show. He is here, ladies and gentlemen. Ha ha ha! Alright! Hey, brother. Kamusta? Hey, bro! Hello. Thanks for taking the time How's to that? join. Absolutely. Well. Diba sabi ko sayo, it's always a pleasure and a joy to join yeah. you on your stream and you know to uh, sing for people as well and para makipagkwentuhan na rin. So, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And happy Friday. Of course, my friend. Happy Friday to you too. Always happy a Friday pleasure to, to talk everyone. To you as well. And everyone Wala, here. Happy brother. Friday. I was telling them, um, I was hoping and praying that this would be a, a well, I know this would be a great blessing in their lives as they go into this weekend and into the next week. So thank you for taking part in this Friday. Absolutely. Episode. How are you doing there? I'm good. Uh, remember, my, we had uh, during our Bible study, one of my prayer requests was to have uh, a full time job. Right. And you prayed for yeah. it like you prayed for me. So I started like uh, three weeks ago. And I've already, I, I could say that I've already adjusted. 
and wow. my boss is really great. Actually, the, the company is based in the U.S., so I I work um, graveyard. So that's the only okay. adjustment, big adjustment that I have to make. Like, yeah. <laughs> Pero God is good. I mean, uh, yeah, he is. He well, knows what we need, and so yeah. I mean, thank you for because I remember uh, na you're one of the people who prayed for me genuinely yeah. to get a full time yeah. job, and I still get to do yeah. this thing, this kumu. So um, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm doing well, and my family is also great. They are healthy. They are protected. And um, voila, I could not ask for more right now. Yeah. <laughs> Salamat That's Lord. awesome. God does answer prayers. So happy to hear Absolutely. that. It's really encouraging to hear when when he does answer a prayer and puts this before you. He had that plan for you. He gave yes. you this opportunity. So yes. Thank, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And what, what job is this that you got? Um, so I am a sales manager at a financing company. So we talk cool. to business owners in the U.S. Um, yeah, a lot of math. So, <laughs> I know it's not even my forte. <laughs> um, but uh, nga eh, cause I, I've already worked in that industry before, like five years. Because I've worked from home for more than five years now. Um, pero two years ago, I uh, resigned from... Yun yung kinukwento ko sa'yo, na because I had a severe anxiety, I had to resign. Um, but... I think God placed me there. But you know what? What I've noticed, yeah. na kahit it's the same industry, like same stress and same challenges, um, it's different now. Like even if I talk to like uh, angry clients or you know, na parang may mga trigger ng konte, I feel at peace. I feel yeah. comforted oh, awesome. at the same time. Yeah, look it's different now. It's different. And um, yeah, I think um, talagang Iba lang yung yung face ng life ko before than now, and I feel more you know light and um, refreshed all the time. So that's awesome. Yeah. And you have many opportunities to show clients patience and understanding and love. Yes. So, uh, let's Absolutely. continue in our Uh-oh. Bible studies and walk with the Lord as He will guide you in that pathway. And hoping that you could even be flown out or fly out or go to the U.S. and wow. meet up. So a chance to <laughs> Who knows? Dude? Meet up. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're working for an industry that's in the U.S., right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so Let's I think see about that. that. I have to. Ano pa, I have to impress my boss. Impress my boss. <laughs> <laughs> impress your boss. Uh, Share with him a, a mo- every, every morning, give him a, a scripture and then one of them like, speak to his heart. Okay. Oh. That's going to tell him. Fly Gab out to America. All right. Wow. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Of course, if it's God's will. If it's God's will. Yeah. We can only hope. <laughs> yeah. And um, after, so let me check one thing out really quick here. I had prepared for you. Uh, I shared with you earlier um, mm-hmm. a song that uh, I did. You know, um, or did you get a chance yeah. to try to practice it or learn uh, it? Or yeah, thankfully, yeah, I had a chance to go through it to listen to it, and uh, yeah, yeah, I have pre- prepared those uh, songs. Great, and have I want to share uh, an original one original song as well. If oh, please you do. will allow me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I love your originals. Last time when we were talking about. Um, health, mental health awareness, and yeah. that song that you shared and sang for us—it really, really hit deep. I couldn't fully understand Praise it because it's to Tagalog, mm-hmm. but um, I could see the comments, and you got great stuff. The Holy Spirit can really reveal the right oh, lyrics to you, brother. Can I share this? Um, Please do. When was this? Two weeks ago, when I was streaming, someone came up to. Oh, actually, a friend of mine from Kumu. Um, shared my stream to a friend and that okay. friend actually got to know me because of your your stream and I sang awesome. that song song about, about oh yeah and uh, he just he, co- he came up in my stream and shared um, what he was going through at the time and how wow. God used that song how God used that song in in, in his life in that moment 
So, yeah, I just remembered now na someone through your stream was able to get connected with me and um, yeah, heard about that song. That, so. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. That's uh, yeah. very encouraging because I'm always praying that, you know, if there's at least one person who's watching here um, that can, you know, take something from this, uh, some positive that God can speak yeah. to, then it gives the show meaning purpose worth and uh thank you yes for sharing that with me i'm happy to thank hear that you. That good. yeah well let's uh continue in what we're doing and i'm sure and praying that uh, down the line many more will come to jesus right. will come to know the lord uh, through him using us so um whichever song you feel that you want to start with uh, i'd love to give um, you the tape the platform yeah the stage sure to so yeah, I feel right like singing song. yung tribes because it's it's yeah. upbeat and you know to set the the, the mood and uh para ma energize tayo since it's Friday so I'm gonna yeah oh, I love it let's do, do it let's first do it. okay I'm gonna do it now guys if you know this song um feel free to sing with me kahit I don't have a chance to to hear you can you can you hear the music I can okay. Come on. Every tribe will see your glory. Every nation bow before you. Come on. All our treasure turn to ashes in the light of you. Come on. As we're singing, holy is the Lord Almighty. Only you are worthy, worthy of it all. Hey! Every tribe will see your glory. Every nation bow before you All the treasure turn to ashes In the light of you As we're singing holy Is the Lord Almighty only you are worthy, worthy of it all. Praise and glory, honor and strength unto our God, unto our God. Matchless and endless love unrestrained, this is our God. Every tribe sing praise and glory, honor and strength. Unto our God, unto our God, matchless and this love unrestrained. This is our God. Every tribe sing, ayo, 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 Sing with me. Oh, ayo, 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 There is no one. There is no one like a God. There is no one. There is no one like a God. There is no one like a God. Oh, there is no one like a God. Here's the Tagalog version. Come on. Wala kang katulad, O oh Diyos. Yeah. Wala kang katulad, O oh Diyos. No hay nadi como nuestro Diyos. No hay nadie como nuestro Dios. There is no one. There is no one like that God. There is no one. There is no one like that God. There is no one like that God. There is no one like our God. Praise Him. Praise Him. Glory, honor, and strength unto our God. Unto a God, your matchless, endless, love unrestrained. This is our God, every trust, sing praise and glory, honor and strength. 
unto our God, unto our God, your matchless, endless, love unrestrained. This is our God, this is our God. Ayo, 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 ah. Come on. Ayo, 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 ah. Ayo, 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 ah. Ayo, 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 ah. Praise to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Wow, you you did <clears throat> you hit it much better than I ever imagined possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I love that song. I love your version better. To sing. Well, you we should record that mind. song. Yeah, <laughs> you should record uh, that song. Victory worship the man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right there, right. If anybody here knows victory worship people, get Gab, get Gab. <laughs> I like it. You put a you put a uplifting, fun um, tone to it, of course, right? Praise so God. Song. Maganda yung song. arrangement then on YouTube. Actually, I was worried na wait. Meron kayang arrangement na male version, kasi uh, the original uh, singer, de ba, was female, and um, sabi ko baka it, it's a different voice uh, range. So I, I was worried, pero praise God, merong male key yeah. version. So, right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> God's got your back. Uh -oh. My favorite part of that song actually is Yes. I was uh, listening to that song and it, I didn't know it, was, it had a Filipino, the Portugal line in it. And it hit me like, uh -oh. like Mom, what does that mean? It's like, God, nobody compares to you. So yeah. I remembered that and it just runs through my mind randomly. Oh, yeah. Uh, I wish na medyo longer lang yung Tagalog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> longer okay. that, that round, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Speaking of Pwede Tagalog, do you know any... Patiling version. Yeah. Do you know any Tagalog songs in worship? Uh, yes. Definitely. Kasi I grew up, di ba, nang... I basically grew up in, in, like, a Christian environment, like, Christian church. Yeah. I mean, in, in a church. Kaya... Uh, I grew up listening to different um, worship songs, uh, English, mm. foreign songs, or especially Tagalog din. So yeah, yeah, Tagalog um, din, no? yeah. Maybe sa in your next stream, I'm I'm gonna share with you some Tagalog uh, classic worship songs. Okay, know. yeah, for sure. Yeah. With translation, you know so you would. Uh, <laughs> Please do. Do you know the song Lilim? Li yes, Lilim. By Victory yeah, Worship. I've seen in the comments. Uh -oh. Yeah, they know Lilim. Uh, ah, maganda rin yun. Uh, do you know that? Yeah, perhaps next Alam time. Alam mo song? I, I don't think... Uh, I don't think so. Meron din an English version. So maybe next okay. time po, I'll... I'll, um, yeah. I'll uh, try my best na... Ano natin, makanta natin. Sa Prepare for and it. Oo. Uh -oh. Mas maganda prepared eh, para... Yeah, you know, yeah, uh, sure. Para sulit. Para sulit. <laughs> Ano <laughs> ibig sabihin sulit? Sulit, oh, uh, diba? sulit is... Wala, nahihirapan ako, Andre. <laughs> Teka lang, oh, Google. Sulat na lang. Uh, sulat na lang. Sulit diba, means... Right? Parang... To the max. Parang ganun. Parang hmm. maximum. Parang... Ano ba? Worth it. Parang... Diba? Worth it. Kung may... Kung may sulit, may chaga. Oo. Oh, oh. So yun na, sabi nila, worth it. Tama. Worth it. Oh, worth it. Oh, yeah. oh, wait, wait. oh kung may chaga, may nilaga. Kung may nilaga, sulit. Oh. Yun. Ah, okay, okay. Pasok. <laughs> Sana yung nilaga ay tinola. Oh, di ba? Sulit. <laughs> Ipang ulam na. <laughs> Oo nga. Magiging gutom pala na ako. <laughs> Joke lang. Gabing gabi na yun, no? Ay, Ka hindi kakain ba kayo? Oh, it's, it's, it's 1 a.m. Uh, Ay, no, no, no. 2? No. Yeah. 2? Or 1? It's 1.30 a.m. here. 1.30. Ah, okay. Yeah. And tomorrow, uh, we're heading out. Been driving a lot lately. Uh, the past three days. 
well, four days now, but the past three days before it was like 25 hours of driving. So wow. first time for me to really hit a long road trip. Talk about sitting in a car for four hours, mm -hmm. gas, four hours, gas. Ang sakit talaga ng wet. Pero yung mga lugar, mga lugar are worth it. Ang view. Worth it. Sulat. Yeah. yeah. Sulit. 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 <laughs> Views I sulit. Hi Zaz. Somebody, I seen in the comments that was telling me mm -hmm. that I should sing, but I should be more serious. Like serioso pa kanta ko. Pa ano kung serioso ko pero ang pangit pa lang bosses ko. What do you do? Pa ano yun? Oh my god. Ang yan na yeah, text ba? <laughs> <laughs> hindi naman pangit ang boses mo. Baka hindi pa lang uh, fully developed. Fully developed. Yeah, tama yan. Siguro tama yan. Yeah. I heard like voice uh, like lesson voice... tayo, Andre. Voice Please. lesson tayo. <laughs> yes. Hey RJ, brother. RJ, what's up? You know RJ? Yeah. Uh, RJ is my batchmate sa uh, The Voice Season 1. Really? Awesome. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I actually yeah. guested RJ on a recent episode. And he's also, mm. he does worship music as well. Yeah. Yes. On Fire for the Lord. He's from uh, so, Favor, diba? Favor Church. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, hey, one, yeah. what's up, RJ? If you're here, uh, welcome to the stream. And hopefully Hello, one brother. day uh, we could set up, set up a stream where it's all three of us that would be pretty sick That's pretty cool mm -hmm. yes yes pwede, pwede yun. so uh gab you're telling me about an original mm -hmm. song that you had uh oh um so yeah i want to share this um regional song now ang inspiration niya is um from psalm 50 50 something 56 verse 8 yeah psalm 56 where it says na, yeah, 56 verse 8 where it says na you keep track of all my sorrows you have uh, collected all my tears in your bottle and you have recorded wow. each one in your book have you um encountered that before that verse um psalm 56 just, verse 8 yeah you yeah. keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all yeah. my tears in your bottle. You have recorded yeah. each one. Powerful, in your no? Book. Oh. Diba? Yeah. Napaka powerful. And another inspiration of this song is from the New Testament. Yung story ng woman na sinful, like the, the prostitute um, woman yeah. who gate crashed the, the party sa bahay ni Simon Peter when she found out na Jesus was there and was having a dinner with the disciples and others. Um, she went straight ahead to Jesus and fall um, at his feet. Right. She brought her alabaster jar and poured out his his uh, his um, expensive perfume. Right. That's yeah. really yeah. And and she used her hair. To wipe Jesus' feet. Right. Okay. I remember this story. Right? Grave, yeah. diba? The Gospels. I mean, it's, it's, the Gospels. Yeah. It's really extravagant. So that's the inspiration of this song. Nah. Um. Sometimes we don't have words to to say to God, like when we are praying or when we are, especially when we are hurting, when we feel pain or when we are going through something. Sometimes, right. We don't have the the words. Eh. Parang words are not enough. But but our pain. Remember this, people. Our pain in whatever uh, what we are going through, this thing can still serve as a worship to God. So that's what this song is all about. Na yung patak ng luha, which means uh, your the drop of your tears can still serve as a worship, as a as a fragrance, which is yung um, which is yung yun yah yung pabango. Because the title of this song is pabango, which means either perfume or fragrance. Yeah. So um, I get it, I understand. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. That's be I love that story too because um, 
I'm so happy when I read in the Gospels how when people really honored Jesus, you know, and mm-hmm. by her going and using the expensive perfume uh, to, yes. to serve him, uh, it brought Jesus joy. And you could see like that she was doing it from her heart. And yeah. She was, she was doing it with faith. And um, in those times, in that period, of, especially where a lot of people were trying to condemn Jesus, mm-hmm. uh, it's just encouraging me for me to see these stories where people also really loved Jesus and that story where she went into the party did you say crashed party or I yeah gate crash like because she, she was not gate invited crash. at all <laughs> she oh, just learned okay. that, that yeah, Jesus was that. there so that's really an act of faith uh, parang yeah, she doesn't okay, even cool. she didn't even know who you know that like people would would let him in so right. so she she found a way to get to oh I didn't Jesus. know that part wow yeah. good on her that's cool Diba? Right? So yeah, that's awesome. That's why sobrang para sa akin, that's one of the parang amazing act of faith kasi she was not invited, she was like she she know na people would would um judge her, would look down on her. Kasi she was she was known as prostitute eh, sa town na yun. Eh. Um but her faith brought brought healing and peace. Um, to her so that's why I love that story yeah and I, I love how Jesus welcomed her and uh, took her in didn't deny her didn't push her away it just shows how loving and merciful yeah absolutely that's an awesome story so this is your inspiration in this original song of yours yes Mm-mm. awesome so yeah. I'm gonna the title is Pabango yun ya, which means Pabango. Uh, perfume, or you could you could say fragrance. It really depends. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna. Oh, we're excited to hear it. Uh, thank you, thank you uh, for allowing me again to. Oh. You know what? I have the um translation here. I'm gonna send it to your Instagram na lang para you have the chance to. Okay, here you go. Um, Andre, I hear the background music. Oh, I'm... Sorry. Better now? Better, yeah. I mean, yeah. Sa'yo'y umaamin Tila ba ko'y pabitaw na Lakas ko at bakas ay di na masilayan Nagdadalong isip kung dapat bang iba At tuloy ko pa buti pinalala mo Sa akin ang pangako mo Puso ko man ay sugatan Paghilo ngayon ay nararamdaman Sa pag-ibig mo hindi mabibigo Oo, oh, oh, ako'y nairito Naway pakinggan mo Panalangin ng puso at iyak ng kaluluwang Uhaw sa iyo At kung hindi sapat Mga salitang alay ko Itong patak na lang na luha Ang magsilbing pabango Nawang tinig mo lamang Ang aking marinig Ang ingay sa paligid ay maglaho Sa iyong pag-ibig Buti pinaalala mo Sa akin na ako'y iyong iyo Di na dapat lumagi Pag-ibig mo hinila ko Pag-ibig sa iyo 
Sa presensya mo hindi mabibigo Oo, oh, oh, ako'y nanirito Naway pakundan mo Panalangin ng puso at iyak ng kaluluwa Uhaw sa iyo At kung hindi sapat Mga salitang alay ko Itong patak na lang ng kuha Ang magsilbing pabango Sa mukoy akap mo, bata ng luha ang magsisilbing Bakit mo alay siyo, bata ng luha ang magsisilbing Bakit mo alay siyo Sa pangako mo hindi mabibigo that two years ago nung, uh, when I was at the lowest point of my life. And um, so yeah, sometimes diba, we don't have words eh, to, to say to God and only we can offer is our tears. But He knows it. That's enough. He knows the pain. He knows um, the comfort that we need. So yeah, I'm glad to be able to share that song uh, with you and with everyone here. Yeah. It's, it, it has been a big blessing. My life, I feel so at peace and in, in, in the presence of God, like that feeling like He's right next to me here with me. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely a song that I would have on repeat if I ever <laughs> struggle with some big and mm -hmm. hardship in my life. Um, uh, yeah, that was beautiful. Beautiful song. And it's soothing to the point where I would even like be. If there's like Dami Takpok's uh, Ulo, like yeah. a lot right mm -hmm. in your mind, mm -hmm. I just play that song right 
there. Wow. Even though I, I don't fully understand all the lyrics, just the, the melody mm-hmm. and the, the tone of it that you chose. I love it. Uh, I wanted to ask you, what, what does um, Pabango Alay Sayo mean? So, Pabango, yun niya yung parang let these tears be a fragrance as a worship mm-hmm. to you. Like parang uh, let my tears be an uh, aroma of worship to you. Diba yung aroma, okay. like there's like an incense that's yeah. go to, that that's go to God's throne. So parang ganun okay. yung yeah, wow. yung idea. Wow. Like your tears wow. and yung yung ano niya, yung um yung smell that it will mm-hmm. go up to the throne of throne of God. Parang ganun. Wow. What a Very deep but um way to put get it, what yeah. I mean. Very deep. <laughs> I get what you mean. For sure. Mm-hmm. I understand what you mean. And uh, Luhang? I heard Luhang. As a, yeah, Luha uh, is tears. Luha. Okay, Luha yeah. is tears. Uh, so, yeah. yung, 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 yung uh, bridge was the uh, direct translation is these teardrops will serve as fragrance as my worship to you. Yung patak ng Luha amagsisilbing yun. Pabaw. Wow. In fact, I'd like I'd love to memorize that song. Please send me the lyrics and yes, ah, uh, yeah. I'll Sige. try to memorize. Sinend ko sa yung English rough uh, translation para you would uh, yeah, that as understand. Well. Yeah, that way I can uh, see both. Yeah. Pero I'll I'll send you the Tagalog then, and it's also available on YouTube. I uploaded it oh, um right. last year. Yeah. So for I those who know. wants to uh, give it a listen, uh, uh, yun it's available on uh, YouTube. What do I have to type on YouTube to get it? Pabango. 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 Pabango Gabramo, siguro. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Do you have other songs on your YouTube channel that you post? Um, yun, yun sa Klolo, na original din. And, may original pa ba ako? Well, I did some covers on my YouTube. I, I actually, cool. I'm not consistent. Uh, last, last post na cover that I did was... From last year, pa, but um, I hey, have uh, yeah. some worship covers there too. I also have, right. um, uh, you know, secular songs, love songs. Yeah, I actually have one, another original from my YouTube din pala. It's called Pambihiram Pag Ibig. Um, ayun. Tapos it's available on Spotify. That's that was my first cool. single. Also that on I Spotify. Was Everybody here, if you guys have Spotify or YouTube, please check out uh, his songs. I I know they would be a great encouragement and blessing in your lives. Um, and also, the beauty of YouTube is even though you don't have to be consistent, once it, once it's on there, anybody can at any time just pull it up. You know when they need yeah. it. Yeah. So uh, it's good that people know that it's there. So yeah. Gab Ramos is the YouTube channel, right? Gab Ramos music. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gab Ramos music. Well, brother, uh, I'm coming up to about uh, 13 minutes left on this live, so Mm -hmm. um, I want to thank you. Big, big thank you, bro, for taking the time. It's been about 40 minutes of your time. Yeah, I'm sorry Um, you have to. (laughs) No, 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 please don't be sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thankful to you, and don't be sorry to me. Um, If I could go three hours of us just singing and talking set that up one day but um, I want to say uh, thank you again for sharing your original song and uh, for taking the time bro it's been a great encouragement to not only thank me you. but I'm sure to the people anytime, watching anytime brother well. diba, I told you that anytime uh, just message me as long as I am available and no conflict with my schedule I'm always gonna say yes and thank you for the opportunity to minister to these people and uh, thank you sa mga tao po na nandito uh, who are supporting Andre and who are here? It's open to receive, uh, you know, from you are your blessing, brother. And um, yeah, have a blessed weekend to all of us. Yeah, hallelujah. So I'm not, a, I'm gonna check out your song too. And that's the blessing right there. Thank and you. Like going forth into this weekend. Hey, bro, so I'm gonna be on Spotify. 
within the next few weeks. And uh, I'd love to invite you out for that. And uh, let me confirm with you the exact date. But um, expect a expect a message from me this month if that's cool. With Sige. You. no problem. All right, brother. Anytime. All right, I'll, I'll see, see you soon. Bible study, man. Yes, yes. Bye, God bye, brother. You, God bless everyone. You. Aloha. Thank you. That was Gab Ramos. Thank you, Gab, for the time you, uh, you shared that original song that you had. Guys, Bango. And I like the story behind it where uh, it's about this uh, girl um, who was a prostitute in the olden times when uh, Jesus was in the world. He was at a, a gathering of some sort and she wasn't invited, but by faith, she went in there to, to perform an act of service to Jesus by getting the most expensive perfume. Um, in fact, maybe I should pull it up in the Bible. Let's find where that is. Um, that's a great story. Uh, and it's actually like close to when Jesus was about to be crucified. Offering. Okay, well, I'm not quite sure fully where in the Bible it is. If anybody knows that story, please comment it below so I can see the scripture and I would like to read the story. Um, my computer is not connected to the internet here, but um, anyways, it's a beautiful story because as she was performing um, that to uh, my roommate's story, hold on. Yeah, we uh, have one room here in my roommate. Anyways, as a team. So what I was saying was when she was uh, doing the fragrance to Jesus, um, even Judas, who was with Jesus, was like, why don't you sell this fragrance and give the money to the poor? But when Jesus heard this and knew what was in Judas's heart, that it was greed that was making him say that, um, Jesus said, no, leave her alone. Let her do her thing. And she's doing it out of her faith and love. It, it brought joy to God's heart. So Jesus' heart. So I'm very happy to, I love that story is what I'm saying. <clears throat> if any of you guys know that story, please comment it below. Um, the scripture, I'd like to read it for you guys right now. My hands are tied with the internet, but not here. Eight more minutes. Yeah, to wake that bugger up. Hold on. Six, two. One second, guys. I'm gonna try to get this up for y'all. <laughs> Don't disturb his sleep. He's having great dreams, huh? Cool. We are in, there we go, Luke 7, 36 to 50. There it is. Jesus anointed by a sinful woman. Wow. So one of the Pharisees asked Jesus to have a dinner with him. So Jesus went to his home and sat down to eat. When a certain immoral woman, immoral meaning like sexually sinful, um, from that city heard he was eating there. She brought a beautiful alabaster jar filled with expensive perfume. Then she knelt behind him at his feet, weeping. Her tears fell on his feet and she wiped them off with her hair. Oh, so she knelt behind him as at his feet. Knelt behind him at his feet, weeping. Okay, interesting. Uh, her tears fell on his feet and he and she wiped them off with her hair. 
Then she kept kissing his feet and putting perfume on them. Wow. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Then Jesus answered his thoughts. Simon, he said to the Pharisee, I have something to say to you. Go ahead, teacher, Simon replied. Then Jesus told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one and 50 pieces to the other. But neither of them could repay him. So he kindly forgave them both, con conce concealing their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon answered, I suppose the one for whom he canceled the larger debt. That's right, Jesus said. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water to wash the dust from my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You didn't greet me with a kiss, but from the time I first came in, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You neglected the courtesy of olive oil to anoint my head, but she has anointed my feet with rare perfume. I tell you, her sins, and they are many, have been forgiven. So she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Ooh. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, who is this man that he goes around forgiving sins? And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Wow. Yeah, it's an incredible story. It shows um, how much love she had for God. And I like this part where it says, a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. He, he forgave her for her sins. By the way, yes, Jesus can forgive sins when he was on earth. He's the son of God with that authority. Um, that's why many condemned him when he would talk about forgiving sins. But he can. He's God. So when he's saying that he forgave her for her many sins, it shows how much love he had, she has shown him because many of her sins have been forgiven. But a person who has forgiven little who is forgiven little only shows only little love. That's uh, the story for today that uh, I like to share with you guys. Cool. I think that's um, in Luke, yeah, Luke 7, 36 to 50. If you guys want to read it on your own or in a different version, I'm sure there's uh, much more other things that you can discover with that passage in the Bible. Anyways, we're approaching um, the end of this show, and I hope in... Wait one second, one second here, guys. <clears throat> Listen to At All Times by Victory Worship. Yes, Lutri Magic, we should forgive completely, I agree. But if you don't forgive, who are you to expect that you're going to be forgiven? We are called to forgive all people. And um, even if that person doesn't apologize or anything, uh, uh, doesn't reach out to you and you have much offense in your heart, um, just know that you can still forgive them in your heart. It doesn't. Forgiveness doesn't require an apology. I think you can forgive, move on in life. But uh, don't hold on to bitterness. All right. Well, guys, uh, thank you for this. Um, what was it? At All Times by Victory. That's the music that I'm going to write down at all times. Thank you for the recommendation. Take a song. All right, ladies and gentlemen, maraming salamat for watching episode 36 of Talks with Dre Ito. I uh, episodes are huling. Um, Weekday, so week, diba Friday na kayon. Sana 
Paso Cayo sa Susuno na Lingo at Weekend Nito with positive vibes, encouragement, and love um, for everyone, including yourself, but mainly God. Love the Lord your God and love those, love your neighbors and love yourself. So I thank you everyone for joining today. Um, next weekend, well, actually, I'm going to be flying back to Hawaii soon. Um, I will update you guys if Monday's episode will uh, be pushed, will be pushing through because I don't know if uh, it will have to be canceled or not, depending on flights. But uh, if that doesn't go through, then I'll see you guys next Wednesday, and I'll have something good prepared for you guys. Again, um, thank you everyone for your virtual gifts. Uh, we're at 407,000 diamonds. That is a lot. But I'm Yun. But I'm just a lot of my guys uh, support the hunt. Uh, thank you. Uh, Andre Warriors, God bless and always be safe by God's grace. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Amen. Love the mindset, love the vibes you guys have, and thank you for the encouraging comments. Thank you, Jolly. Keep shining for Jesus Christ. Yeah. We're called to be the light in the world. Well, again, I'm going to wrap this episode up for now. But it's not a goodbye. I'm going to see you guys next time. So, before I go, don't forget to follow me here on YouTube. YouTube. Don't forget to follow me here on Kumu. Andre Bro. And to stay updated with what I'm going to come out with in the next episodes. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, again at 2 p.m. And... Check out my YouTube. Give it a subscribe at Vlogs by Dre or just Andre Brulette because soon, not rather than later, but soon, there will be great things coming there too. All right, guys. Love you all. Mahal ko kayong lahat. At mabuhay? Mabuhay? Have a good mabuhay. Okay. God bless you all. Aloha.